greeting students today we'll be talking about our next topic which is letter writing this topic comes under the writing skills of your syllabus so let's start first what are the things that we should remember while writing a letter So whenever a question of letter writing comes in your exams there are few things which will come into your mind so first thing which we always ask ourselves when a our question on letter writing is given in the exams so first question is what do i want the reader to know so for example there is a question in the exam that you have to write a letter to your father telling him about your first job so in that situation you will jot down some points in your mind about the things which you want your father to know about your job so first point could be where did you get the job the company's name where is the company located the date you got the job the salary you are getting there are you happy or not so these are the things which you should remember when you are writing this kind of letter now second what kind of business letter am i writing so guys first of all what is a business letter a business letter is a letter which you write to your boss to your colleagues to your manager so it is not mostly it is normally the in uh, normally the formal letter okay so what kind of business letter am i writing is it a letter of inquiry letter of inquiry means am i asking a question to the other person second letter of application is it a application which i am uh, writing the letter for is it a complaint letter where i am complaining about some issue is it a letter of regret is it a thank you letter is it a good news letter bad news letter or sales letter so the type of letter i am writing okay now the most important thing you should know the audience you are targeting with your letter so first how well do i know them so if i am writing a letter to my friend or to my uh, to my parents i'll be writing dear mom or dear xyz but if i am writing a letter to my colleague or to my boss i'll be writing respected sir or uh, mr xyz okay how much do they know about my subject so we can write about something only when we know how much information we want to convey to them so if we know that they uh, like for example we'll go back to the father uh, and the job example so if we already know that a father knows the name of our company and the job where our company is located so we'll not write that thing again in our letter so then we will begin with some new information okay third point how will they feel about my message so if i am writing something are they going to feel happy or are they going to feel sad or are they going to feel confused baffled etc what vocabulary will set the tone what words or what things i should write in the letter which will set the tone for my letter so which will set the tone basically means how will they understand my feelings what uh, how can i easily convey my feelings to the person i am writing the letter okay so that is why knowing the audience is very important now we'll come to the seven c's of communication this we have already done in our first chapter seven c's of communication come comes handy everywhere so first c as you all know is clear so clear means the goal for which we are writing a letter or a message should be clear in our mind second concise it should be brief we should not write a long letter or we should not ramble a lot while writing uh, a letter third is concrete 
does the message have a real goal or objective fourth is correct does the message fit the audience is the letter which we are writing or is the if the uh, is the message which we are writing fits the fits the target audience are the audience uh, will be able to understand the letter or will and will be able to understand our message complete is our message complete are there any uh, information which is missing from our letter or which we have forgotten courteous is our tone polite and have we written all the uh, correct information there and have written the letter with full honesty coherent does the message flow and can it be followed now to the types of letters so there are two types of letters as we all know first letter is formal letter second is informal letter okay so informal letter so what are the situations where we write informal letters informal letters are basically the letters which we write to our family to our friends to our relatives to the people we love these letters are usually written on some special occasion so for example you have your birthday so you'll write a letter for example it's your father's birthday so you'll write a letter to your father wishing him happy birthday for example you got your first job for example you uh, you are posted to some another city so you're writing a letter to your parents or for example it's your friend's birthday you're writing a letter to your friend wishing him happy birthday or congratulating him for winning a position in some competition so these are the types of informal letters second formal letters now what are formal letters formal letters are the letters to people whom we don't know on personal level okay usually we write these letter to find out information so for example if you are uh, if you work in a company abc and uh, you have to ask your employee who lives in some another uh, some another state about his uh, sales targets so you will be writing a formal letter asking him about his sales targets to apply for a job when we apply for a job we write a formal letter to make a complaint for making a complaint regarding any issue the letter which we write is a formal letter so in short if you are writing to anyone with whom you hope to have a professional relationship the letter should be formal and if you are writing someone you know very well the letter should probably be informal now this is a sample informal letter so this is how guys you will be writing the letter in your exams so first is the written address so if the letter is not received by the person by the relevant person the uh, postman or the person can return this letter in the above address in the written address which is 123 pine street oak ridge nj and below the address the date is mentioned on which the letter was written okay now after that you will write the inside address which is abc company spruce street whatever then you write the salutation so salutation is dear mr brown now after salutation you will write the body insert the part of the body of the letter here the body of the letter should tell something about what you hope to convey it should also have a closing paragraph in it there should be at least two sentences per paragraph so first part of the body should consist of all the information which you want to convey to the other person and the second paragraph or the closing paragraph should be the conclusion or the solutions which you tend to give to the other person now complimentary close once we are done with our letter we write a complimentary note complimentary note is here is sincerely mrs d gro enclosure and done so this is the format of a letter which shows how a letter is written which format we follow now uh, guys we were just talking about the salutation so salutation in this letter is dear mr brown so now we will understand what basically is a salutation 
the salutation you use will depend on your relationship with the recipient of the letter as well as the formality of the letter the salutation which you will use so for example if it's a informal letter the salutation which you will be using is dear mom dear xyz okay and uh, if it is a informal letter the salutation which you usually use will be respected ma'am greeting sir respected uh, uh, sir or mr x mr y etc okay it depends basically on your relationship with the recipient now how do we start the letter so it also depends on the type of letter which you are writing and on the recipient who is receiving the letter okay so start the letter if you are writing a letter to your uh, to the person who you know on a personal level so there you can write there you can begin the letter by writing i hope you are well or uh, how is it going how are you i hope you are doing fine okay and if you are writing a business letter business letter means a uh, formal letter a letter uh, to your boss to your colleagues to your manager so there you will just get straight to the point like it is mentioned here in this in this image here the letter is uh, the image is of a business letter so here the person has begun the letter by dear mr freeman and below it is written as mentioned in a meeting so there is no hi hello or any kind of greeting there we have directly come to the point which is as mentioned in a meeting on may 25 2007 and stuff okay now the most important point which you should always remember throughout your career and the point is proofread your letter proofread basically means checking for mistakes checking for grammatical errors checking for for spelling mistakes guys whenever we write a letter or whenever we write a email or a report or a message we should always ensure that we proofread it again and again before sending it to the other person especially if you are sending that letter to your boss to your colleagues to your manager so basically if you are sending a business letter especially make sure that you proofread it once or twice before sending it use a complimentary close a complimentary close ends your letter on a good note make two hard returns after the last paragraph of the letter then write the complimentary close so first you write so first as i told you earlier in the body of the letter you will write about what all information you want to convey second you will write about the uh, conclusion on the solution which you are providing then after concluding the body of the letter the last thing should be a complimentary note without complimentary note the letter looks incomplete and it is very important for a person to write a complimentary note after the conclusion complimentary notes are like sincerely yours kindest regards best wishes okay so these are the complimentary notes you use now what kind of complimentary note we will use it also depends on the type of letter so for example if you are writing a letter to your like in the official purpose letter so there you will write sincerely yours thanking you okay if you are writing a letter to your loved ones or you are writing a informal letter so there this uh, complimentary note basically uses best wishes or love sending you love etc so here we will end our class today now rest of the like the second part of the letter writing we will be continuing tomorrow hope you you have understood whatever we discussed today in case of any queries you can 
ask me questions in the Q&A section of the portal. And uh, then see you tomorrow, guys.